So, I went to work this morning. Yeah. So this morning I came out here and I had these pistons over on that box. Poured a lot of chem dip in this pan and was like, you know what? Let me soak my pistons, you know, let me clean these up. Now, these pistons came out of a block that I wouldn't say it was totally bad. It was, it was the original motor I got with my car. And uh, I took it out due to the fact that there were snap bolts on the water pump. And that's where I started. So I put a different motor in my car because I was doing a manual swap. And I was like, you know, what? it's a lot easier just leaving the motor hitched to the manual trans. And, you know, so I swapped the motor over. Well, I'm having issues with that motor. So I was like, you know what, let me, let me go back to my stock motor and tear this thing down. So I tear it down. By the way, the block's over at the machine shop right now, and there's a lot, there's people influencing me on things, you know, and uh, they were like, well, since you already got it tearing apart, why don't you uh, do a stroker kit? And I was like, well, how do you do that? They're like, you know, you just buy a 3.1 crank. The rods in what I was told, the 2.8, 3.1, they're all the same size. The, the rods are the exact same. There's no difference to them. And... Uh, what happens is, is you got bigger journals on this crank, which here's my stock crank. This right here is from a uh, 2.8 iron block. And the one that I got, let's go over here. As you can see, this is a 3.1. And yes, these journals are definitely bigger. And it already came with the, uh, the bearings that are needed. So, go ahead, go back over here. So, long story short, I'm letting these guys, when I was going through my block, there were some things going on, you know. I didn't think it was as bad as what it was. There was a, uh, my heads, one of these ports, one of the intake ones was clogged due to the fact that someone ran a intake gasket, lower intake gasket that was wrong for the vehicle as you can see that plate is covering one of the intake ports and it was whoever did the motor before i got my car so i was always fighting an overheating issue and i, I thought it came down because air was getting in the system due to the broken bolts on the water pump but i gotta stop getting off track what i'm trying to explain is here's my pistons i was let soak in the chem dip and i was just gonna get some carbon off so I looked, <laughs> I took this out of the chem dip and was like, what happened to the top ring? So I took this out. I just came out here right now. And as you can see, this stuff really does take carbon off pistons. Uh, there is some, let me get some white so I can show you. But as you can see right there, uh, that's, don't think that's supposed to be like that as you can see there's definitely a uh, almost has like an H shape to it but I don't think that's supposed to be like that on the piston so I think something hit the piston but long story short I was like looking at it and I was like hmm I left the piston rings on it what the hell happened to the top ring you know so let me put this back in and let me show you what happened well, yeah, let me just knock them all over. Okay, long story short, come over here. And yes, that is half of the top ring. <laughs> oh, man. So, I am so glad I didn't just, oh, hey, let me draw out these bolts, fix the water pump, throw it back in. You know, it's, yeah. So, that ring wouldn't have, yeah. That ring wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, yeah. There's that. <laughs> Half of a ring, guys. But I love this stuff. This stuff really does work. Um, like I said, it really does clean things up. Long story short is I am using the 3.1 crank. You got to use 3.1 pistons which 3.1 pistons are actually shorter than these. There's a dish in them, and they are not the same, uh, they don't have the same compression height from the wrist pin. 
I think I believe yeah they're they're a little bit shorter but the the uh, what am I trying to say that the press pin or wrist pin they're all the same diameter and I believe they're the same wrist pin same rods but yeah just the crank changes that changes so I'm building a 3.1 stroker motor turning my 2.8 into a 3.1 stroker but i was told in reality it's going to be a 3.2 because i'm going to try and have the machine shop bore it 30 thousandths over i believe that's how it works because it's the same bore on a 3.1 as these pistons are they're just like i said you got the stroke and a 3.1 3.4 you got the stroke and yeah you get a way bigger bore and you got better oiling galleries that I was told. But right now, I can't tell you for sure because I don't have any of that stuff to really overlook. I got, let's come back over here. So the reason why I'm going through everything, and I actually just chem dipped my heads and they came out really good. They took the carbon right off. I wouldn't say they're 100% clean, but I still got to do some uh, cleaning on them. And I got to definitely do some valve height checking that just you know see if i gotta go to the machine shop and if i'm ready to install everything but as you can see i've got a top cam i know a lot of people do it. 260h and then i got i got new lifters because you know you gotta have gotta have new lifters and then i got these guys which are the 1.6 ratio roller rockers so that's gonna be fun if my block because i'm still waiting on the machine shop if my block's not good enough for build what i'll do is i'll uh take damien Doneski's uh input on it and run a 3400 bottom end just because you get the roller cam and all you gotta do is swap out push rods and you'll have to do some wiring to the ECU, stuff like that, but nothing big. I don't think my block's bad. I think my block is good. I checked the bores and they all look stock to where it's actually never been messed with. I would say whoever's touched this motor was just regasket and ran it. That's all I can say, but. Yeah, I just thought maybe one of you guys would love to know about this. I can't believe one of the rings. Oh, man. One of the rings broke, you know? That one's still there. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Check your, uh, you know, sometimes running what you think's good. It's not really good. So now what I'm thinking is maybe the low compression in one of my cylinders is on this other motor that I put in is, uh, I imagine since I ran boost on it, I, th if the rings are this weak, it's very possible one of those rings broken. And it probably is my fault. <laughs> but all in all, just little education purposes. Well, I am out. Well, I'm back again. Here's cylinder one. And, uh, yeah, look at that. I got some pitting going on on the piston. Funny, because I was just watching a Garage 54 video where the guy put a ball bearing in his uh, cylinder and it kind of pitted up the piston just like this. So, um, well, somewhere over time, <laughs> something happened in cylinder one where, yeah, this happened. Uh, so that's crazy guys the ring's not broken though i can tell you that top ring's still there so cylinder two broken ring cylinder one pitting man this is nuts because this car still ran no problem you know, I'm gonna go through, clean up all these pistons, and I'll get back to you guys. This, this is fun. 
I'll probably let these things soak even longer. But, uh, yep, cylinder one and cylinder two. Got some issues going on, so. Yeah, I want to scope all these out. I'll see you guys in a bit.